cats have an incredibly sharp memory when it comes to bad experiences. These negative encounters can do more than just scare them in the moment, leading to running away, hiding, or even aggression. The real concern lies in the lasting impact these experiences can have on their trust and connection with you. So what are these bad experiences? Let's dive in. Raised Voices Cats have incredibly sensitive ears. They're capable of hearing sounds that we humans can't even begin to detect. This sensitivity to sound helps them in the wild, making them excellent hunters. But in the comfort of our homes, this trait can make loud noises very startling and uncomfortable for them. Imagine hearing a vacuum cleaner not just as a loud, annoying buzz, but as an overwhelming roar. That's the daily reality for many cats when it comes to raised voices or sudden loud noises in their environment. And when cats hear these loud sounds, they don't see it as we do. They usually perceive the loud person as a threat, someone scary coming their way. This perception isn't just about the momentary scare. A study highlighted how cats living in noisier environments tend to show signs of stress. These signs can be subtle like hiding more often or more obvious, like becoming aggressive. Teasing. Teasing can take many forms, like playfully pulling on a cat's tail, startling them while they're sleeping, or often picking them up against their will. Cats have a strong memory, especially for events that they find traumatic or unsettling. This means that the teasing isn't just forgotten once it's over. It can lead to long-term trust issues, in some cases, it can even lead to a condition known as hyperesthesia syndrome, where a cat becomes excessively sensitive to touch or stimuli around its back. Declawing. So this is quite a controversial topic. Declawing isn't just a simple nail trim. It's a surgical procedure that removes the last bone of each toe from a cat's paw. Think of it as amputating a human's finger at the last knuckle. Many people consider declawing as a solution to scratching behavior, but studies have shown that declawed cats often experience significant pain, which can lead to behavioral changes. Imagine trying to walk on tender feet every day. It would affect your mood too, wouldn't it? That's what happens to these cats. They might start avoiding the litter box because the sand feels painful on their sensitive paws, or they might become more prone to biting since they've been stripped of their primary means of defense. The impact of declawing is profound and extends beyond physical pain. In fact, declawing is considered so inhumane that it's illegal in many countries around the world. So what are the alternatives? The good news is there are many. Regular nail trimming can help minimize damage from scratching. Nail caps are another great option, offering a humane way to keep both your cat's claws and your furniture safe. Providing different types of scratching posts and pads around your home encourages natural scratching behavior in appropriate places, letting them exercise their instincts without harm. Rough play. It's a common misunderstanding that cats are just naturally rough players, but in reality, how they play with us often mirrors how we've taught them to play. Cats naturally use play to practice these skills, such as stalking, pouncing, and biting. However, when playtime becomes too rough, it can confuse them and potentially lead to fear or aggression. This is because they might not understand why their trusted human companion suddenly seems to be treating them like prey. When play involves hands or feet chasing them around, it can teach them that biting and scratching human skin is okay. This might be fun and harmless when they're a small kitten, but as they grow, their bites and scratches can become more painful and potentially dangerous. Paying attention to a cat's body language during play is crucial. If they start rapidly flicking their tail, flatten ears, or have dilated pupils, it's time to take a break. These signals mean they're not having fun anymore, and continuing to push them can lead to negative associations with playtime. Inconsistent or harsh discipline Harsh discipline, like yelling, hitting, poking their face into the accident, or using a spray bottle, can actually make things worse. 
For cats, this kind of discipline can lead to fear, anxiety, and even aggression. They're not connecting the punishment with their behavior. They're just scared of you. A fascinating study showed that cats are more responsive to positive reinforcement. This means rewarding good behavior with treats, petting, or kind words, rather than punishing bad behavior. It turns out, cats can learn quite a bit when they're motivated by something positive. They're more likely to repeat behaviors that earn them rewards. Skipping the small things. We're talking about things like grooming, nail trimming, cleaning the litter box, not ignoring the hairballs. In essence, these small things are big deals in the world of cats. They're about more than just cleanliness or appearance. They're about health, comfort, and showing your cat you care about their needs. A happy cat is a cat that feels loved and cared for, down to the smallest detail. Not respecting their territory. Cats are naturally territorial animals. This doesn't just mean they have a favorite spot on the couch. It extends to their entire living environment. They use scent glands located on their cheeks and paws to mark their territory, leaving a scent that says, this is mine. When these scent markers are disturbed or removed, it can cause them stress and discomfort. A significant point of stress for many cats is when their belongings, like beds, toys, or even litter boxes, are regularly moved. To a cat, these items aren't just objects, they're familiar pieces of their world. Studies have shown that cats who have consistent and unaltered access to their claimed areas tend to be more confident and less stressed. Providing a cat tree or dedicated shelves where they can observe their domain can also help. These high vantage points allow them to survey their territory safely, offering comfort and security. Regularly interrupting their sleep. Cats are not just lazy, they have to sleep for up to 16 hours a day. Their sleep pattern is all about conserving energy for hunting, even if the only hunting they're doing is for the feather wand. Frequent interruptions of their sleep can lead to more than just a bad mood. This will lead to stress, and stress in cats is a serious business. Cats experience both REM and non-REM sleep, just like humans. During REM sleep, they can dream. So, those little twitches and chirps you hear while they're asleep? They could be dreaming of chasing mice or exploring vast, dreamy landscapes. Also, cats are crepuscular, meaning they're most active during dawn and dusk. This is when their wild ancestors would hunt. So, when they're sleeping during the day, they're following their natural instincts. By providing a quiet, cozy place for them to sleep, uninterrupted, we're respecting their natural habits. Laughing at a cat's expense. The internet is full of videos showing cats jumping out of their skin at the sight of a cucumber or stumbling around in tiny costumes. It might get a laugh out of us, but for them, it's a different story. First off, let's talk about the famous cucumber prank. While it might seem harmless, this prank will cause significant stress. When they see an unexpected object like a cucumber, they might perceive it as a snake or another potential threat. Researchers have found that these kinds of pranks can lead to long-term anxiety issues in cats. They begin to feel that their safe space, usually their home, is no longer secure. Costumes fall into a similar category. While a cat dressed as a shark might seem adorable, it restricts their movement and can make them feel trapped, leading to stress and anxiety. Forcing new interactions. When something new comes into their environment, their first reaction might be curiosity, but it's often followed by caution. They need time to observe and decide that this new thing isn't a threat. Rushing this process, like forcing them to interact with a new pet or person before they're ready, will lead to stress. Cats don't just get used to new faces overnight. They rely on scent much more than sight to recognize and trust. That's why forced introductions can be so overwhelming. A study on cat behavior showed that gradual introductions are key. Start by swapping scents between the cat and the new pet or person, using items like blankets or toys. This lets your cat become familiar with the new scent without the pressure of a face-to-face -face meeting. 
Forcing interactions can lead to something called fear aggression. This is when a cat feels so threatened and cornered that they lash out as a defense mechanism. It's not because they're mean or poorly behaved. It's a natural response to what they perceive as a dangerous situation. Scientists have recognized 10 behaviors cats exhibit when they consider you part of their inner circle. So check out this video to find out what they are and be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline loving community.